It was part of history that no one can forget. During the reign of Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler, Jews lived under daily terror. Their synagogues were burned, and millions were sent to concentration camps. Six million perished. Some nations opened their doors to the fleeing Jews. China was one of them. Many Jewish families applied for visas to come to China. All of a sudden, cities like Shanghai became home of the Jewish refugees. Many were relieved that China was a safe place, a country that changed their lives. Elizabeth Linton was born in Austria. She and her husband recently visited Shanghai, China, not for sightseeing, but in memory of her deceased father, Michael Weiss, who came to Shanghai after fleeing the Holocaust. Weiss was born in Vienna, Austria, after Hitler overran the country. As they drew, he realized that he couldn't safely remain in the country.、Uh, after he came to Shanghai, he.、Um I was working as an engineer. He had graduated from the university in Vienna. He was about 25 years old at the time. When I hear stories about how the nations, many of the nations, including America,、uh, turned away Jewish people seeking refuge, it、uh, it really is heartbreaking when you think about it. But look at what the Chinese people did. They opened their arms. To a persecuted people, some came without visas, some came without passports, without proper documentation. And soon after, he met、uh, American missionaries,、uh, the、uh, Stearns family, Theodore and Carol Stearns. They had four children, and they introduced him to Watchman Nee in the church in Shanghai. Watchman Nee was a church leader and Christian teacher who worked in China at the time. Exposed to many Chinese Christians, Weiss was deeply touched by their help and love for him. He learned about the Bible from the Chinese Christians. I think it was 15th of November, 1939. He was baptized by Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee gave him the name Johannes as his Christian name, and Johannes stands for John. Just when Weiss thought things would get better, the Japanese military invaded Shanghai, and he was taken prisoner and sent to a concentration camp. During the imprisonment, he was threatened numerous times with death. However, Weiss only did two things: read the Bible and pray. Weiss could not return to Vienna until the end of World War II. He immediately started a new life. And he prayed. I have.、Uh... Many prayers that he wrote down for his children,、uh, that we would come to know God early in life, and embrace the faith in God with all our hearts. Today, as she walks around the Shanghai Jewish Refugee Museum, she was drawn to all the memories here. It made it real that he he was here. And especially the name of John that was given to him as his、uh, Christian name. Johannes Michael Weiss passed away in 1983. With a degree in theology studying, he never stopped giving praises to Jesus and thankfulness for the Chinese who introduced him to the Lord. And my father told me that the Word of God kept him alive. Mengfei Li, CBN News.